Hi Virgos, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome in or welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. I am doing your general reading. This is good for all placements, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus for Virgos, whatever resonates best for you. I am going to get some cards right now from the Osha Zen Tarot. If it sounds like something you are going through or feeling, this is your reading. Um, the free falling card flew out during my pre-shuffle trust and then I saw guidance. So I feel right now, Virgos, if you're going through something or just in an energy of knowing that everything is going to be okay and everything is starting to fall into place, it's because it is. So let's get some cards right now, Virgos. Let's take a look. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Wednesday. And let's get started for Virgo Spirit Guides. Thank you. Strongest energies. What do I need to see for Virgos? This reading is for, thank you. For the sign of Virgos. Thank you. Anything else? No. Nope. Well, underneath the deck is celebration. Things are coming together for you, Virgos. This is a card of rejoice, celebration, good times. The tree of life. Meaning that there's something around you right now. You're attracting more right people, more good energy. But there's also something around you, and it's politics. Feeling like... I kind of feel like you're in an energy of more abundance, more fruition, but you're also learning that there are certain people who are wanting to manipulate you, playing a game. I feel that there's also things around you that are trying to get you to a new energy, a new, new, a new possibilities, new doors opening. I have sharing and I have it with breakthrough and then I have possibilities. Look at all that color, you guys. And I always go by color. So meaning right now around you, there's a lot of things that are just flying in towards you and new adventures. You're coming out of a place, Virgos, where you've been. And sometimes you get into your hermit mode where you don't want to you don't want to venture out. But right now I feel you're getting in an energy of venturing out. There's things around you that perhaps you do feel like, is this a game? Is it? But I feel right now Spirit wants me to tell you to get into your sense of adventure, Virgos. Get out there, go do things, because there's some new possibilities, new adventures that are waiting for you. I have abundance, I have traveling, and I have conditioning. You know, whatever you have been through, I wanna tell you that you're coming out of something. You had to go through something and it had to teach you something about strength and courage. Realizing that everything in life is about our own strength, our own inner courage. But right now, Spirit is trying to make you go towards places. Because wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, a more sense of an adventure, there's more abundances waiting there for you. This is an energy around you right now. It's pushing you through something. We have the Lion's Gate on 811. We went through the 77 portal. We're headed towards a whole new chapter, a whole new beginning, new manifestations. They gave you exhaustion and compromise. If there's things in your life right now, Virgos, that are feeling like, I don't know how much more I can do this, find a compromise with it. What's more important to you? Go for the things that make you happy. Go towards the people that bring you joy. Leave the dead weight behind. That's what I feel the message is. I have two more cards. They're all paired up for you. I have moment to moment, and the last card they gave you is courage. Hmm. Virgos. It's an energy around you right now that wants to create something new. A new flower is blossoming around you. And Spirit is telling me that you have all the courage it takes. Just live moment to moment. I feel like the big message today is telling me to tell you wherever you're at in life, go towards the things and people that bring you happiness. Don't keep going back to situations that always make you feel like you're playing a game. Come back into an energy of knowing it's all about your own happiness, okay? And that's really what I feel the big message around you right now because your incoming energies is going to show a big shift towards abundances. I just know it. I don't know how I know it. I just know it. <laughs> you guys. All right, let's look at your recent past a little bit. It is the window to why these are here. I'm going to do this deck today and I don't know why, but let's look. I don't know who's under these decks. I shuffle, cleanse, put them down. I have Scorpio, Transformation, Temperance but feeling like things were continuously being held back from you or you were holding on too tight to something. Temperance and Scorpio is big for me. Uh, I just mean big for me because our major arcana is telling me that you were trying to make everything work, 
but sometimes when we're going through a dark night of the soul we have to spend some energy alone realizing that we have to shed the things in our life that just weren't serving us anymore letting go of an old cloak that you've been wearing around for far too long you did a lot of soul searching behind you recently because that's who you are you are the hermit and i feel that you came into an energy recently around you right now of abundance adventure traveling uh celebration there's a lot of beautiful energy around you right now virgos they just want you to shed something that's just not serving you anymore so all these new doors can open up recent past for my beautiful virgos spirit guys just a little bit strongest recent past what would you like to show me for the sign of virgo strongest recent past for the sign of virgos thank you anything else let's see okay no. scorpio death you guys went through a dark night of the soul and it had something to do with building a new you I mean, you, whatever you went through recently behind you, you had to shed something of yourself because you, this is a card about building something and it's with other people or putting a lot of work into building a new tower. I have the uh, King of Cups under the deck with the Knight of Wands. That's a lot of determination that Knight of Fire. It is considered the hot pony and it's fast. I feel recently behind you, you realized you had to leave certain situations that kept you in an energy of feeling blocked. And I don't know why I'm saying that. I haven't seen all the cards, but you, you shedded an old you behind you. And this is a very tough transition. We all go through it. I have the tower. I have a two of wands in reverse, but recently behind you, you guys, you had a you had a new truth and this is the ace of truth the ace of swords you know the ace of swords is an ace of steel meaning whatever recently behind you you had a truth about you finally saw the truth you had to go through some type of epiphany but it stalled you from moving forward and i think that's when you went through a dark night of the soul meaning you had to realize there were some things in your life that you had to let go of you had to get the, an old cloak off that's okay Seven of Cups is sideways, and here comes the Four of Wands coming into your current energies. This is a card about options, choices, the choices we've made with love, the things we once wanted with love. Sideways to me with your Four of Wands, this is the 1111 gates opening coming into your current energies. I feel right now coming into your current energies is you're seeing the truth about everything. You have the Ace of Swords in your hand. You're letting go of things so new things can come into fruition. A lot of courage, a new flower in the sun. You know, right now, Spirit is telling me to tell you to live moment to moment. Don't play the games if people are trying to play games with you. Step out of the box and come around the energies that make you feel good. Because what I think Spirit wants me to tell you is when you come into that energy of rejoice, celebration, just, just the tree of life, you attract all the right energies in for you. And that's why I'm here, to spread love, light, positivity, because the 811 gate is going to open a lot of new doors for everybody of abundance. All right, you guys, let's look at what's coming in. Um, I'm going to do the compass cards today. I don't know why, but I'm going over here um, underneath the deck as I have the mountain and follow the leader and ride the wave. You know, ride the wave is telling me to be the playful dolphin. Just do not let any emotion bring you back down into the water. Jump out. Enjoy life. Have fun. Things are coming together for you. The mountain is telling me that there's a giant hole above you. The sun is coming through. Your pillar of strength is about to shine. Whatever you've been climbing up towards Virgos, I'm telling you right now, it's coming into fruition. And follow the leader is telling me that you're being led down a new path. You're being led towards new people, new adventures, new doors are opening. But let's look. Incoming for my Virgos. And then I'll get some messages from Spirit. And I'll get some angel guidance today and then love crossing if you're dealing with somebody strongest energies incoming next two weeks for virgo spirit what do you want to tell virgos what would you like to show me follow the leader wow okay what else do you want to tell me for virgos thank you 
strongest incoming energies for my beautiful Virgos. You know, beautiful. I see that card. That's beautiful. You guys, underneath the deck is Ride the Wave. And I have, you guys, it's the same card as the mountain. And guess what? You guys have the Talesman. This is a card about pulling something in. All right. Spirit wants me to tell you that whatever you are manifesting right now, to be around the right energies, the right people, things are coming together for you. The Talesman is holding a sphere that there's something at a distance that's coming in for you. It's something that you've been wanting for a long time. They want you to stay in an energy of the mountain, the strength. The sun is about to shine upon you. You're about to come into the light. Spirit wants me to tell you to be the playful dolphins right behind me and ride the wave. All right. I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to go there yet, but let's look. I got four beautiful cards. Here's the first card to the left is balancing act. You know, this is a card about everything wants to play out in your favor. But you got to find balance with things. Meaning that don't give too much into situations that aren't serving you. Go towards the things that make you happy because you're going to be in the sun. You're going to be shining. There's something coming in for you to make you feel good. I have storm fields. A path is being cleared. You guys have storm fields with the tailsmen. Look at all that beautiful green, Virgos. This is meaning that a new path has been cleared. You have pulled something in. They want you to be the playful dolphin and do more new and more adventurous things. Something's coming in for you. I have your field of dreams and the last card they gave you is listening. You know, these are the elephants, you guys, more green. They want you to trust in something. It's an inner knowing. They want you to trust in an inner voice inside your head. Know that it's going to lead you to your field of dreams. The fairies are on top of the eggs they're about to hatch. Trust in the information you are about to receive. I cannot express enough. We are given beautiful information every day through our crown chakra, but we let self-doubt, anxiety, worry overcome us. I can only express enough that positivity creates positive actions. Whatever you are pulling in, a path has been cleared. You have to balance something in the incoming energies. Spirit is telling me for you to be the playful dolphin. Have fun with it. Go towards the things that make you feel happy. I got two dolphins jumping out of the water. Spirit is saying, listen to something, Virgos. Listen to an inner voice of strength. Something around you is about to hatch. You guys have the tailsmen in storm warning. This is a, steam, I'm not storm warning, storm fields. This is a path has been cleared. Whatever you've been putting out there for a long time, you're pulling in. In the next few weeks, things are going to start to come in towards you that you have been looking at at a distance. And it's all about abundance in your field of dreams. So you need to listen to this inner voice and strength. I'm going to get some messages because I, I know there's always messages from spirit today for you. And I feel that I have to do this. I, it's just something I do. I'm just trying to figure out who I want to use. Um, okay, I'm being drawn over here. I'm going to do it. I don't know who's under the deck. I have the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. These are all earth. This is everything we want. Abundance. Ten of Pentacles. Everything coming into fruition. This is about working with other people to get to the triangle of stability. And this is about a golden opportunity will be handed to you. But I do feel Spirit wants me to tell you to don't allow other energies to block you from any new inspiration. Hold on to something that you deserve. Know you're going to have it and believe. That's what I heard. Let's look. Messages for my beautiful Virgos. Incoming messages for Virgos Spirit Guides. Thank you. Three of Cups. Things are coming together for you. Rejoice, celebration, good times, the tree of love and life. Incoming messages for Virgos. What would you like to say to Virgos today? Any messages for the sign of Virgos about this reading? Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Virgos? I see. 
These are messages, Virgos, and I'm just going to go through this, and this is what I'm going to say. Underneath the deck is an Ace of Wands. There's your Four of Wands and getting to the top with the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. But this is telling me it's a big major arcana about stay committed to something that you want. It's a card of tradition, commitment. Gates are opening and you are going to have the Ace of Wands in your hand, meaning that anything is possible. New passion, new inspiration. Everything gets started with the Ace of Fire. Look at all of those flowers. Look at how everything is open. The skies are opening for you. But there's something that you need to realize that if you've been holding on to something because you feel it's been a part of your destiny, it's time for you to get yourself to calmer waters because there's something else waiting for you. I'm only saying that because I have the lovers, the nine of wands, six of cups. I just feel the nine of wands is a card about we are always protecting our fire energy, sometimes too much because we've been hurt. Spirit is telling me there's a part of your destiny waiting for you. It's time for you to get in your boat and go to calmer waters. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. They want you to leave situations that have wounded you. They were a part of your destiny. They had to teach you something. Spirit is telling me gateways are opening for you in the next few weeks. You're handed the ace of fire. And to stay committed to it, you will get to the top. All right, this is what I have over here. I have, oh my goodness, I have the six of pentacles, the tower, the ace of swords. And the chariot message you know the tower is all about epiphanies root awakening sometimes we don't want to let go of situations because it felt like it was a part of us but you see that part of you that once felt right is not suiting you anymore because you have a path that is cleared you're pulling something bigger and better in spirit wants to tell you to see the truth of a situation Virgos and let it go get in your cart Trust your intuition. This is a card about trusting your intuition with a lot of will and determination, maneuvering around obstacles to get to where you want to go towards victory and success. I see you. I have the Empress, meaning that whatever plants, whatever seeds you plant, or whatever plants you've been planting are coming into fruition. This is the angel of abundance. This is the most beautiful energy in the deck, meaning that you don't have to worry about everything. Everything will come towards you. All you have to do is sit in an energy of knowing that nurturing everyone and everything with love and things will come to you. I have the devil and the Ten of Cups. You know, the devil is a card about being chained to situations. It's the shadow side that we are no longer chained to. There was a time we felt chained to it because we were caught up in it. But Spirit is saying that don't allow things to keep pulling you back into the shadows because your Ten of Cups is all around you in the next upcoming months, the next upcoming weeks. Your Ten of Cups is your ultimate happiness. I feel like you got something new coming in. I got the magician. I got strength and courage sideways that you, Virgos, in the next few weeks have the power to create whatever it is you want, but you must believe because this is a card about believing. When we come into the almighty creator energy, the magician, we have to believe that whatever we keep putting out there will come to us and you have the impress. But strength and courage is sideways telling me that don't give in to situations that make you feel weak, that make you feel like you're losing a part of your strength. Stay in the power of knowing what you deserve. And this is what I feel. I got two cards left. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. This is a message. And the last card out is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is what Spirit wants to say to you, Virgos. That everything in life is in divine timing. If you don't keep putting out there what it is that you want and you believe and you must feel it, like you're going to have it, whether it's a new relationship, a better job, a better place to live, something in your life won't change because everything is built on the magician. This is the power we all have, but we don't believe it enough. Spirit is saying you must trust in divine timing and you must know that whatever you want in life, you will receive. There's something coming in for you that's going to test your strength and courage. Okay. This is about you going back to maybe an old toxic energy, an old toxic belief. Spirit is saying, step out of your comfort zone. Start planting the seeds that you want to harvest tomorrow. 
stay committed and you will get to the top you guys i cannot express enough spirit is saying a path has been cleared you are pulling something bigger and better in but the talesman once again with the sphere is telling me you must believe and that's what this whole reading is about because whatever's coming in for you it wants to change your life it wants to give you everything you want but they want you to get out of an energy of where you kept feeling pulled back into it's not serving you anymore it's time to release we've never we're never chained to the shadow side but we feel chained to it in some way it was, it was a time in your life where it was a purpose you needed it you had to learn lessons spirit is saying your path is cleared the wheel wants to turn everything wants to play out in your favor all you have to do is believe and that's the big message today because the lion's gate is right around the corner you guys and right now we're in the new moon and this is the time of manifestations i cannot i cannot express it enough surround yourself with the energies you want to be around stop playing games and politics with the people that keep pulling you in the shadows everything's wide open for you virgos you know, there's something around you right now that is blossoming. And all you have to do is stay in the energy of realizing that it will happen, it can happen, and you are going to have it. And stay committed. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. I'm going to get a few messages from Spirit today, and then I'll roll into Love Crossing if you're dealing with someone. These are never a coincidence. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for Virgos. And I'm going to get two to three cards for you. For the sign of Virgos, thank you. If you can tell Virgos anything about this reading today, what do you want to tell the sign of Virgos? Thank you. I see. The Ten of Raphael's under the deck. That's your ultimate happiness. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you. They're all lined up in the order I must take them. And the first card to the left is Angel Michael, and Angel Michael gave you the three. And this is what Angel Michael wants to say to you. Release the past. You will grow from this situation or that situation. Time heals all wounds. Release it. Be open to something new. Abundance wants to come in for you. Live moment to moment. Be the playful dolphin. Something's coming in for you. They gave you the Six of Raphael, and this is the card of connections, kindred spirits. Embrace your inner child, playfulness. New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. I think this is about you just coming into a playful energy of feeling alive again. Wow, what was that? Sounds like the angels were singing. All right, I do have Epiphany. Spirit wants to say this to you today. It's card number nine. One of my favorite numbers, nines. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through quiet meditation. Remember you guys had listening. I feel Spirit is telling me if you get to a place in your life in the next few weeks where you need a little guidance, just come into an energy of quiet peacefulness you will have your answers and I feel your answers is about you coming back into a playful energy knowing that whatever you want in life it wants to be given to you the universe is our partner we just have to believe beautiful reading today Virgos beautiful you guys I wish you all many beautiful blessings I'm rolling into love crossing energies now so if you are not dealing with anyone or in a happy union I wish you all many beautiful blessings all right, and I hope this helped you. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. It does help my channel. Thank you. And thank you for your love and support. Have a beautiful Wednesday, a beautiful weekend, and a beautiful next few weeks. Love crossing. I'm going to take a drink of water and get one deck. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go over here. I don't know why I haven't used this deck in a while. I have the Knight of Earth. I have Scorpio. And then I have a Fast Knight of Fire. Uh, I was going to say, you know, when I saw this card, I was going to say, oh, is it someone who likes to run in and out? The Knight of Wands is always on a mission. It's, it's the fast pony, but it's a very flighty night. I mean, meaning it can come hauling ass in one minute and then it goes hauling out the next because then I have the Seven of Swords. That's the getaway card. Yeah. Someone's having a lot of new epiphanies about new opportunities of love, meaning that something they wanted with a new opportunity of love it ain't working out so well for them 
because I have Scorpio in the night of Earth, and that's the night on a mission of something solid and stable. But whoever you have been dealing with, I feel is realizing something in their life wasn't as grand as they thought it was going to be. I'm going to leave it there. You know, these are the strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your persons, but let's do a shuffle and see what flies out. I feel, um, so whoever you've been dealing with, I just kind of feel is having a lot of rude awakenings about something they thought they wanted and it turned out it wasn't what they thought it was. And now they got the four cups around them, meaning very discontent and bored with love all the way around the board. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you're the cross watcher, some of these energies can be moved around. I'm not here to bash anybody, but whoever I feel, and I know what I'm feeling right now, it's somebody who's held on to so much about their self-worth, they ended up with a broken heart. All right, let's take a look, see. Love crossing energies. My Virgos have been dealing with strongest. What do I need to see? Love crossing energies. My Virgos have been dealing with. Thank you. Strongest for the sign of Virgos. Love. Strongest love crossing for the sign of Virgos. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Did I have a flipper? I don't see it if I did. Five of Cups. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. Ten of Cups and Judgment. Huh. All right. I'm going to, uh, because I see this card, I don't like that card. Uh, I'm going to say what I'm feeling and nothing more, nothing less. The Five of Cups is telling me, because I have the Five of Cups and we're finishing off with Judgment under the deck. But between that, I have a Queen of Truth, Honesty, Integrity with the King of Determination to have it their way. It's almost like someone is having a battle of the wits with you or a battle with themselves about something here. Like whoever you've been dealing with is staying in an energy of, I. this is a very, this is fire energy. Leo could be an Aries Sag. I don't go by signs, you guys. I just go by the energies. But this is someone who I feel knows they've they've been they've been evaluated, and and I just kind of feel this person is is in a very um, prideful energy. Because the Five of Cups is the rabbit hole of emotion. Ten of Cups is their ultimate happiness. And whoever you've been dealing with, I felt it from earlier, is just in big judgment mode about their whole life. About everything they've, they've chosen with their life. Like, has it been serving me? All these things I've, I've wanted, do I need to release them so I can resurrect something new with my Virgos? Ten of Wands, well, whatever they're doing has become a giant weight. And honestly, it's taken away their sun. They've lost a lot of optimism about something. I feel like somebody knows they've made a lot of bad choices. I got Scorpio, Leo, Sideways, Four of Swords. Someone who's laying down a fight. Um, whoever you... I, I, I honestly... I, I can't express this enough, but I just kind of feel that this is a person who wanted something. And they were determined to go after it. And what happened was it basically turned around and it didn't work out the way they wanted it. And now they're in a dark night of the soul with the Five of Cups. And that ain't a pretty place to be. And they've lost a lot of strength and courage. They held on They held on something about their pride. But they're going through a dark night of the soul. They are laying down their heart and the mind right now to do some healing. Seven of Pentacles is sideways. And then I have the old trickster in reverse. Somebody who keeps fooling themselves about something. About the work they put into something here. I feel like whoever this is, is someone who's just had to learn a lesson and I think right now they're in a dark night of the soul with the five of cups realizing that the choices they've made were bad ones and now and like I said if you're the cross watcher and Virgo did you dirty I do apologize we have low vibrational and high vibrational every signs but this is a card of someone who's a master manipulator and right now whoever you're dealing with is going through something and realizing that the work they've been putting into things isn't paying out a judgment and Scorpio I mean that's just wow and everything in this person's weight basically has become nothing but a giant burden and it's been taken away their son because without our son, we lose our optimism. 
kind of a coward. I mean, somebody who I feel is hiding right now. I do feel that because they're going through some very heavy energies. Everybody grows at different paces. Everybody grows at different times. If this is meant to be, it will work out. But if it's not, Spirit is saying for you to let something go because a lot of new things are headed in for you, Virgos. I'm going to look at their intentions right now. The intentions, meaning what are their actions, if any, in the next few weeks? Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Justice. Libra. Um, the Knight of Wands is a beautiful knight. It it it's a it's the Knight of Fire. But I see courage, strength and courage sideways. So it's like somebody who one minute has the strength and courage, and the next minute they do this they lose a piece of themselves. Six of Wands flipped out with the Ten of Wands under the deck. Ten of Wands is somebody who's carrying around a lot of weights. And I think it's from things from the past that they wanted a victory in. Their intentions? Let's see. They gotta get over a hump, whoever you've been dealing with. A hump meaning soul searching. Love intentions towards Virgos. Next few weeks, Spirit, what would you like to tell me? Love intentions, thank you, towards the sign of Virgos. Anything else for the sign of Virgos? Oh my goodness. Anything else yet? Okay, I was right on the money. I knew I was. Queen of Swords is sideways, the Queen of Evaluation. I, I just don't feel whoever you've been dealing with is ready yet. And only because they have the Nine of Wands, meaning that they feel like they have to battle everything and their back's always against the tree. They're still wounded about stuff. The Fool with the Wheel of Fortune and there's the Ten of Wands one more time. The fool is the zero telling me it's somebody who wants to take a new leap of faith. They want to start over, but it's someone who's waiting for something to play out in their favor, like luck and right timing, trusting something in the universe. Yeah, it's the Ten of Wands in the Tower. I, I don't feel whoever you've been dealing with is ready to come forward yet. Not till Mercury retrograde in your season. Because I have the Three of Swords, Broken Heart. Right next to that is I have the Four of Swords in reverse. This is someone who's not taken the time out to do the healing. <sighs> Seven of Cups, options, choices, disillusion. This person has to do some healing. I'm sorry, I don't know who this is. And then there's the Six of Wands, the card that flipped out in the center of the deck. This is about them having a victory. This is someone who needs to do some more soul searching and heal something here. They haven't done the work. They're in it right now. These energies that they're in right now are very heavy energies. I mean, judgment with Scorpio. I have the Queen of Swords looking at the King of Swords. And then the Queen of Swords is sideways. And then I have, I, I mean, I'm just feeling these energies. It's like, I feel like this is a person who is choosing their pride over logic. They're not trusting their intuition. They would rather skate out the back door. They've lost a lot of strength and courage because they've had a lot of emotional disappointments. They're down a rabbit hole of emotion. There's two cups behind them that want to be filled. But like I said, I felt it's a person who has not done the healing. They have not taken the time out to do the healing. Very disillusioned about the choices they've made with love. I think because um, they've made some bad choices and they're really looking at them right now. So what I'm going to say, their intentions in the next few weeks... Not much. They, they got to they take some time out to do some healing. Listen, that's why Spirit is saying, Virgos, you are pulling something magnificent in. Your path is cleared. Put out there what you want. If it's this person, put out there for them to heal. Put out there for you two to mend something with open, honest communication, truth, and love. If it's meant to be, it will come together. If not, new energies want to come your way, you guys. You know, and something's coming in for you to make you feel like a child again. You guys have the Six of Cups, and it's right here. Spirit is saying, all you have to do is keep putting out there what you want. Talesman and the Magician. And you're pulling it in. So this is what I have for you today. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope it helped you. Everybody heals in their own divine timing. I am not here. I'm just here to, I'm just a messenger. I wish you all many beautiful blessings. I hope it helped you. Thank you for viewing me. Thank you for all your love and support, my beautiful Virgos. Wish you all many beautiful blessings and have a beautiful day. Thank you.